What do you hear? What do you say? This is Vertigo bringing you another video and this is a video that I've done in the past. It's an update video and if you've been to my channel for the past two years and you are a long time supporter or subscriber then you know that every now and again I'll throw out a video like this to give you guys an update on the future of my channel, my thoughts on certain games, uh, videos I've got coming up in the future and just overall questions that you guys have asked me um, throughout I guess the last few months. Uh, before I start though, I just want to say thank you for the amazing support throughout 2016. It was huge, it was a big year for my channel and um, I'm hoping that 2017 is even bigger and better. Got a lot of things planned, a lot of uh, ideas going through my head all at once and uh, hopefully I can make them all a reality um, but sometimes just that just isn't the case but I'm going to do my damn best to bring you guys the best content I possibly can. Um, now, of course, the big question that always gets asked on my channel is where's Rust? Um, the reason for this is quite simple. Uh, Rust really, no doubt about it, helped me make this dream job come true. I'm not in denial about that. It was my Rust content that got me the attention which helped me become a content creator. Um, that being said, I never went into this job or I never recorded or made videos to become a YouTuber. It just sort of fell in my lap. Um, I'm not going to complain about it. It's a dream come true. Um, but I never expected to be where I am today. And I never, never thought I'd ever be sort of um, expected to cover one game and one game only so um, Rust is always a constant love-hate relationship for me it's a game where I love the game but it's changed so much and the way I personally play it it's very hard for me to produce the content that I want to produce so I'm forced to do I suppose a different kind of style to fit how the game is played now and that's all cool I mean that's fine um, but the problem is that because I as I said before I started this as doing it just as a hobby or because I love to edit and I love to play games um, so when I'm not enjoying myself or enjoying the way that I'm playing because it's not the way I want to play it's hard for me it really is I'm not gonna lie to you I'm not gonna beat around the bush producing rust content as of today is very hard um, and I'm not saying the game is bad, because the game is not bad. It's easily the best survival building game on the market. It's the most polished. It's just, I've been doing it for two years now, and I've said this before, and I'm saying it again, I sound like a broken fucking record, but it's just tiresome. And of course, I'm going to continue to do Rust. In fact, I was going to hopefully do Rust tomorrow for the fresh wipe, and I still might do that. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I might get in there and feel up to it and something. Maybe I won't. So if you're here just for Rust, I've noticed a few comments, people saying, Hey, where's Rust? I subscribe for Rust. Well, if you subscribe from, for, for just Rust, if that's the case, there's a hundred other Rust YouTubers out there doing that for you. If you're subscribed for me, then this is not an issue for you. Um, but it's the people that are just subscribing for a game. As I said, there's plenty of other channels. Plenty of really good ones too that are much better at the game than I am. The only thing I can really say is, with me, I try to entertain. If you like to be entertained, regardless of what game it is, then stick around. Um, but Rust out of the way, I mean, I, I don't want to go on about Rust because I've been over it many, many times. And, you know, I'm, I, like I said, I sound like a broken record. So I don't want to go that too much. Um, another question that I've been getting is what happened to the Forest series? Been getting a lot of messages about the Forest series that I was doing with Winter. <sighs> I'm, okay, I'm going to be open with you guys. I, I think you deserve that. Um, you've been watching my channel for a long time now, and you guys supported the hell out of my Forest content. And I think you deserve to know why that series ended. Um, it just... It didn't work out. Me and him, we approached it in a different way. Uh, for me... It was all about us approaching the game again or coming back to the game after two years and playing it out together um, in a very story-based way. Um, in order for me to do that, I like to edit or record more like it. I like to record 
a long or a, a big chunk of film and edit like maybe two hours into 20 minutes and I'll edit the fuck out of it. Whereas Winter uh, likes to record that same footage but he'll split up into many videos which makes him able to pump out videos faster which in some cases is a lot better and uh, in some cases mine's a lot better. It, it all just depends on how you look at it. But that wasn't really the issue. Um, because he is a lot faster with the edits and the recording, um, he wanted to do the videos at a much faster pace where I just didn't have the time to do it. Um, so he decided to set up a new series, which is cool, but it kind of made me feel like, you know, this is our series we're doing and now you're doing another series. I, yeah, and I, and I, I bailed out. So, you know, that's on me. I, um, you know, he, he done a new series and that's cool. Um, from what I've heard and what I've seen, it's a good series and a lot of people, um, went over there and they enjoyed that a lot better than our one. So, end of the day, it just came down to creative differences and how we approach what we're doing. And that's to, to, that's to be expected in this kind of business or, um, that kind of arrangement when both people view how they do videos or the speed of their videos, it's much different. So it happens and I'm fine with it. But as I said, I, th I think you guys deserve an explanation because you guys were in enjoying the series and I feel bad, if anything, I, d I feel bad for stopping it early um, because you guys were enjoying it so much. So I do apologize for that, but it just, that's how I felt at the time. And at this point, you know, I've, I've, I've been offered to do, uh, you know, another series in the forest, and I've even thought about making a new series or continue it, but at this point, I just don't have it in me to go back into the forest. You know, I've done I've done everything I think I wanted to do in there. I know I wanted to beat the game, but it, just, it wouldn't feel right going back there now, um, unless it was to continue. But he's already beat the, the story now, so there's no real point. Um, so that's unfortunate. It just, as I said, it, it, it just comes down to differences in uh, how we create things. Uh, next up, we have Conan. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me what I think of Conan, if you should buy a Conan, um, and if it's going to be replacing Rust. First of all, it's not replacing Rust. Um, I've stated this many times before. It happened when I played DayZ. It happened when I played Miscreated. It happened when I played Hurt World. People panic and they think oh my god oh my god he's replacing rust with another game holy no it's i'm human sometimes i need a break from the same thing um believe it or not it's very 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 difficult to do what i do um a lot of people don't understand where there's a lot of youtubers out there they can make videos and they can pump them out two three times a day when you got rust Rust is a game you've got to dedicate hours and hours and hours, not just to play. Like, forget about playing. Imagine playing Rust for a full day, and then after you're finished, now you've got another six hours sitting here editing one video. One fucking video. And people want it every single day. It's difficult. And um, sometimes I just need a break and I play other games. And one of those games is Conan Exiles. It came out just the other day, and everyone's been wondering, how is it? It's a mess. <laughs> it's it's a mess. I've got to be honest with you. The game in its current form is laggy. It's full of bugs. It's full of problems. But, the almighty but, there's a diamond under there. Believe it or not, this game is more enjoyable. I'm having a lot more fun with this game than I did on the first few days of Ark. Even though Ark ran better, kind of, it was kind of messy as well. I didn't enjoy as much as I'm enjoying Conan. And Ark is a smash hit. So I know Conan Exiles has it in them. If the developers care about the game, if the developers want this to succeed, and they got a clear vision of what they want and they go for it, then they could, they could honestly, they could kill it. They could do a really good job and have a successful game that I'll, you know, I could cover for the next two years. It comes down to that. Uh, would I recommend you buy it? I recommend... Keep your hand on... Keep your finger on the pulse. Keep your finger on the pulse. Um, just wait it out. See where the developers go with it. See how many patches come out. If they patch the problems, 
I'd say it's definitely worth a try. If you enjoy Ark, if you enjoy games like Rust and Ark, where it's all about survival and building, then it's a game that I definitely think you should check out. But don't expect it to be better than Rust, or even better than Ark right now. Keep in mind, this is an early access game in its first week. Some of the dumbest comments I've seen in my videos, my Conan videos, has been, Stop playing this shit, Rust is better! Um, it's not even fair. I'll tell you what, get Rust in its first three days and put up against Conan in its first three days. That's a fair fight. You can't compare a game that's been years in development and has been redone and revamped over the last two, three years. Comparing that to a game that just came out, it's not even fair. But anyway, it's been a bit of an update. Hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless. Uh, this has been Vertigo. If you, um... If you're watching this video still, I appreciate I appreciate you watching. It was just me rambling on. But I love you guys. Once again, thank you so much for the support. Hopefully this answered a few questions that you guys have been wondering. Um, if not, leave something below and I'll try and reply if possible. Anyway, till next time, may the Force be with you always.